Today's video is going to look at the difference between pressure tissue damage and moisture lesions. The causes of pressure tissue damage are generally caused by friction or shear being exerted onto the tissues. Moisture damage is caused by the presence of liquid sitting near the skin. This could be from urine, faeces or diarrhoea, exudate or sweat. You can have a combination of pressure tissue damage and moisture damage at the same time. This is when you've got pressure being exerted onto the tissues and the presence of liquids causing moisture damage. Pressure damage is generally located over the coccyx or the ischian tuberosity within the sacral area. Moisture damage tends to be located between the natal cleft, going in a straight line. It can also be over the perianal area also. You can get what's known as a kissing moisture lesion, where the buttocks meet. The wound will be, have a butterfly appearance when you separate the buttocks. It is also possible to develop pressure tissue damage where a tubing has been left lying next to the skin, for example a catheter or oxygen tubing. Wounds in skin folds of bariatric patients can equally be caused by a combination of moisture, shear and pressure. Circular wounds or wounds of a regular shape tend to be caused by pressure, but you need to rule out whether they've been caused by shear or friction. Moisture lesions have diffused edges. They can also present as several broken areas of superficial tissue damage. The depth of pressure ulcers can extend right down to the bone. When we're discussing moisture lesions, the tissue damage is superficial, but can extend slightly if there is infection present. If friction is exerted onto a moisture lesion, you may notice that the edges of the wound become jagged in appearance. If there is necrosis present on your wound, it is not moisture damage. Necrosis only occurs when there is deep tissue injury. Moisture tissue damage is superficial tissue damage. If the edges of the wound you are looking at are distinct, it is likely that the wound is caused by pressure. If the edges are raised, then it is likely that the wound is an old wound. Moisture damage has diffused and irregular shaped edges. If the edges are jagged, it is likely that there has been some friction applied to the moisture lesion. For further information on pressure versus moisture tissue damage, have a look at the team net on the tissue viability page in the document store where you will find further information. Thank you.